So this was a final push from the universe, the deliverance that I needed, the catalyst, the catapult confirmation, if you will. I have been initiated into await the awakening of my third eye once again. My third eye was already awakened a long time ago, but this is exactly what I needed. I trust women a lot less now. I trust human beings a lot less now than I compared to where I used to be, where I used to stand. I stand upon principalities and a compass of morality and my virtues and as well as, in addition, my testament, my document that I am enough. I will continue to project this into the universe. I've died a thousand times, and you know what? I to have died once again, I feel absolutely nothing. Nothingness. My heart is emptier and blacker than ever before. And honestly, I'm sick. I'm exhausted of the heartbreaks. I'm sick. I'm exhausted of these toxic women who, in their misogyny, okay, they'll say, They'll compare you to the past to illustrate, to realistically realist, alliterate their past, to talk about all their negative experiences, but they compare you to every single man of their past. Forgive me for saying this. I'm not your fucking ex. I'm not your fucking past. I have no fucking associations with your fucking past. So, once again, I'm treated as if I'm a physical sexual objectification to your gratification of your fucking will. That fucking ends right now. Sick and exhausted of giving my heart out to, you know, all I do is bleed my soul dry, bleed my knuckles fucking dry for everybody else. My entire world may be collapsing on itself, and all I do is get, being the selfless, romantic at heart, I give myself in my entirety of my world to somebody else ensuring their fucking happiness. But it, it, it ends right now. It ends tonight. I'm drawing a line in the sand because it draws the conclusion right now. Right fucking now. Right fucking now. I'm no longer doing this shit. I'm no longer helping anybody else. All I'm doing is trust myself. I matter most to myself. And that's it. Because every time... I think I fall in love every time I get attached to somebody, every time that I profusely, profoundly put my heart out in, in to deliver that into, into somebody else, investment of my time, my sacred energy, my fucking everything, and all I ever get acknowledged and I get recognized, I get acknowledged for my physical attraction and of as far as the rest of the world. They never, these, these toxic fucking bitches, these fucking toxic women, they never ask you of anything for you, for your personality, for what you believe in, your aspiration, your fucking goals in life. What are you like? Are you happy for one? Okay. Are you fucking happy for one? What's your fucking, what's your fucking past with your fucking trauma and shit? They never ask you these fucking questions. They never do. And I'm left here to my devices of thinking deeper in, into the seeds of my consciousness, asking myself, asking myself, asking them, why don't they ask me these in-depth, intellectual, thought-provoking, but necessary conversations and questions to get to know you, you know? It's, it's always fixated and focused upon your fucking your your sexuality, your fucking physical attraction. Every fucking time. And never fucking fails. Every goddamn time. And, uh, you know, when I put my heart out, when I put, express my emotions, and simply I get ghosted, I get blocked, I get all sorts of stupid shit. So, you know, and uh, simply for treating a woman right, you know, I get fucking blocked. So you know what? Fuck you. Fuck everybody else. 
Fuck this goddamn dying ass fucking world. Me personally, I don't give a fuck about anybody else. Look at this shit. I found like three fucking beers just to drown out my fucking emotions. And I've got to say this for the record because I'm sick and fucking exhausted of this shit in my life. I don't deserve to be treated like this. I deserve to be treated with quality, with the utmost, the highest degree of respect. Because that's all I ever do is respect other people, to be professional, remain professional, to bleed myself dry for other people. But you know what? It all fucking ends tonight. It all ends right here, right now, because I don't give a fuck anymore in my fucking life. The spiritual path workings and the journey of one's existence is as such as mine. It's fucking lonely. It's a, a journey of being misunderstood, misrepresented, misillustrated. And these people, they care nothing for anybody else except for the vanity of their fucking artificial selves. You all live in a, inside of a matrix paradigm of an existence, you're not shifting or bending your reality into something greater than yourselves. You're staying mundane in this fucking fucked up fucking mundane existence. You care nothing to expand a horizon to your fucking mind. You care nothing to envision great positive things within yourselves, within your mind, within your collective conscience of everything that you breathe into your subconscious, your objective consciousness, your cosmic consciousness, your divine consciousness. You care nothing to making the world into a better fucking place. Instead, you sit around and you want to... Hmm. Instead, you sit around and you want to play the same fucking narrative to play with people's fucking heartstrings. Bullshit. Over and over again. But I gotta tell you, it fucking stops now.